Okay, this is Connie. Connie is, uh, has been one of our patients for years with your family and had a little incident last spring, I believe it was. In May. Yeah. In May. Well, tell us your story, Connie. What, what happened? What happened to your, your knee? Um, well, I was helping our oldest daughter move and we had the pickup and I had the tailgate down, was finished, was jumping off the tailgate and my right foot decided to stick to the tailgate. So my body went forward and then proceeded to twist and I popped something in my knee. And so we went to the emergency room and they took x-rays, nothing was broken. So they um, recommended I go see an orthopedic surgeon and um, that was about a week after I went to the emergency room. And when I walked in to see him, um, he did his usual test and he goes, um, yeah, he's like, you might have some stuff messed up in there, but you know, just keep wor working on it, walk on it and, and we'll see if it gets better. So I actually came, like I think the day after that appointment, I came to see you, and you did your test, and you go, yeah, I think there's probably a torn ACL and maybe some other stuff. So um, we had asked the orthopedic surgeon if I could do an MRI, and he goes, well, yeah, you could probably do one if you want. So just being curious, we decided, well, let's just do it and see. And the MRI came back, and there was a complete tear of the ACL. Um, there was a partial tear of the MCL and there was some um, fraying of the meniscus in there and then when you read the MRI you also said there was probably some fractures of the tibia in there which I, you know I don't know all the technical stuff but it didn't sound good and it didn't feel good. <laughs> um, so you recommended that we do um, prolozone therapy which I kind of had some experience with because our uh, middle daughter, um, Ashley, had the prolozone done on her knee when she played rugby. A whole so, family of knees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so after we did, um, I think we had six prolozone therapies. Um, and I kept my knee straight. I kept it in um, an immobilizer for, I think, about seven weeks. And it didn't hurt even after like the first couple of weeks um, with the prolozone. The pain pretty much subsided and I could walk on it and I had balance and, and stuff like that. So um, the orthopedic surgeon more or less told me um, after he looked at the MRIs that I wasn't a professional athlete and so I didn't really need my ACL and that I could live without it. Just strengthen the muscles around it and everything would be fine. And I kind of was like, well, you know, I was born with an ACL. I think I kind of like to have the ACL. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we didn't really follow up with him again. I just kind of let him go and, and we kept doing our prolozone. And now I am at the point where I'm doing physical therapy. Um, this is my third or fourth week, I think, of physical therapy with it. And I have basically the extension back. Um, full full extension. extension. Awesome. And I am probably two thirds of the way back on the flexion, on the bending part. So um, I can go upstairs basically normal I have to do it wow. slow but I can get that normal kick motion in um, and I'm working on after yesterday getting the the number 103 on my flexion <laughs> um, I s have started going down the stairs normal I can't quite get the normal flow because I can't quite get that full bend right to get that foot down on the next step but and the sync the synchronicity of your yeah. Muscles is probably not back yet. But. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I am slowly working towards that. I have to really concentrate on going up and down stairs, making sure I can 
think about what I'm doing and that it's the correct relaxed motion of proceeding. So. Yeah, there's a lot of timing that goes on, the neurological. Yeah. Descending. Yes, because if I get in a hurry, I still find myself reverting back to the sure. kind of hobble thing. Sure. It's kind of a limp, so to speak, yeah. going up and down stairs that you have to overcome. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. What a great story. Totally torn. Yes. Kept your legs straight, like we talked about with that brace, yeah. and did prolozone, and now you're getting, you're almost back to normal. Yeah. Yeah, and the physical therapist, when she did the same manipulation test to see how right. strong it was, mm -hmm. um, she said it's basically the same strength as my left knee. Your so. anterior cruciate? Mm -hmm. So there's, there's no slippage, there's no... And that's what I found, too, is that you you seem to have grown that thing back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I haven't had an MRI. I kinda, no. I'm almost curious yeah, I know. to have another one yeah. just to see. We'll have to do a follow-up with that, yeah. a little follow-up video. Thanks for sharing your story, Connie. I think oh, it's yeah. uh, it's going to help a lot of people. Yeah, who are if facing you can avoid that. surgery, this oh gosh, I, yes, I fully recommend avoid this surgery thing. and keep your parts. Yes. All right. Exactly. Thanks so much oh, for thank sharing. You.